David Joyce in the Sun newspaper this morning as he describes an attempted shooting while he was training at a house in Moat in County Westmeath, the home of his father. And this comes not long after a separate and apparently unrelated incident involving his young brother, Joe Jr. And Joe Jr. is on the line to tell us more about what happened. Joe, good morning. Hello, how are you keeping? Very well, thank you. Uh, describe what Davy uh, told you had happened on this evening. Well, he just told me he was out doing a bit of training in the shade and uh, a lad came up with a, with a shotgun and he let a blast on the top of him. And as soon as he did then, the second bullet never went off. And the boys charged him because there's no choice to her charge at him and that your man took off. And was he at close off. range, Joe? He could have been 10 foot away from him. Have, I think he bottled it when he came like. Because I was about to ask, a shotgun blast spreads out. That's the nature oh. of it. How on earth did he miss? Your brother was very lucky. I don't have a clue now who he missed, but your man, your man, you know, I missed the shot. But he pulled over his head, I don't know. But uh, he, came, he was supposed to come for to do damage. And he did fuck all his, you know. And your your father, I believe, was in the house and heard the shot, and then he came out. Is that right? He, he, he came out with a pitchfork, he did. Yeah. And when he came out with a pitchfork, at that, we, uh, your man took off, like, and my brother David and my father followed him. If they had to catch him, it's for his own good luck that he did take off. And he just managed to outrun them, did he? He outrun them, and he, he got into the car across the road for his own good right, luck. Right, yeah? so he had a car waiting. Yes, because if he had to be got, he, we, he was sent for to do a job a job on my father or brother, but the job would have been done on him if he had to be got inside the yard, tell you the truth. Now, do you have any idea, or does Davy or does your dad have any idea what this was about? We have an idea. The McGinn, uh, them family there, they went along and uh, they're on this YouTube thing and they're making false challenges to fight us the whole time. So we accepted to fight these families. And as soon as we said that we fight them, they, they emigrated over to Germany. They, 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 they thought the bluff was saying that it was fighting for money. So we said we'd fight them when we go to England and beat this family. And as soon as that didn't happen, they emigrated to Germany, they did. But the, their family back in Ireland now is ashamed for them. And that's why this all kicked off. I suppose I should mention, because we haven't pointed it out already, that you and indeed your brother and your dad before you, you are very accomplished in the bare-knuckle fighting scene. Have you had any encounters with this family, any um, any fights with them before? My father's king of travellers, and he, he bet the head of this chief. He's already beat the head man of these family in a bare-knuckle fight back there in uh, the to- back eight years ago. He already beat him. And is there bad blood over that? So they're, 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 they can't hurt their beef, they can't. And now his son was on, on YouTube shit talking that he wanted to fight me. And basically, it, uh, he, he, when I accepted his challenge, he, he ran to Germany. But the fight is supposed to be arranged for the 19th of April. I'm still going to England one way or another. And if he doesn't turn up, probably he'll have to go to Germany. I am beating this fellow matter where I get him. You will go to Germany and track him down, will you? If it takes that, he is getting, uh, where I, if I go to Africa, me and my brothers are going to have finished this for once and for all with these, with these fellas. Now, you believe it is unrelated, but you did have a near miss yourself and your wife and your child at a pub in Ballymore. Uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's a different thing altogether, yeah. But is that also connected to a feud, albeit a different feud? No, that's a different thing altogether, that's different. Right. So you're satisfied that there's no connection between the two and that this... It's not between that. The head man of this there is a man there in Longford. But they're known as Blue Peter. That's the man that's organising all this. <laughs> this is the attack on your brother? Oh, the attempt yes. I won't say his name, like, but everybody knows him as Blue Peter, like, so just... Or he is the man behind everything. <laughs> so what's your next move? And what's your brother's next move? Our next move is not, we're getting on to, as everyday life, we're not bothered about these people. We're just here doing our own thing, and we're taking every, we're doing our, uh, everything we do every day, we're still doing it. We're not one bit bothered about these people. With respect, Joe, whatever about taking a risk yourself, you have a child, your brother has children, are they staying at the house, or have they moved on? No, we're... Right, Simon McGinty, I saw you on YouTube there today, you were slapping a little mock, mock monkey like that there. Right, listen, you keep all your slaps for me, right? I'm going over to England on the 19th of April, 
personally going over to Hamilton site to beat you, Simon. So don't be shit talking. Your old father was on YouTube there a few minutes ago. He was on to touch and pa, and he said that uh, I got all the big Joes and Willie's pal got all the fight we want in Apple Bay Horse Fair. There's no Apple Bay Horse Fair for me. I ain't going to over to England on the 19th of April to get my fight on, Simon. That is the day everybody knows, the whole world knows. The Bumbies knows it, John Davis knows it, they're showing fair play. I be in Hamilton site on the 19th with the £50,000 to fight you, Simon. Or Davy be there to fight Barney. So, Barney, don't be trying to send people to get Davy's arms cut off your show. Come out and fight him. But you, Simon, anyway, Barney's afraid if he doesn't want to fight Davy, Davy's too skilled for him, as you said, we lay him off, lay Barney off. But you, Simon, come out to me till I give you your ass and bait. I'm going to England now, the 19th, I'm beating you, Simon, and I'm sick of these. I'm not going on YouTube no more until a week beforehand, or when I'm over in England, when I beat you, Simon. I do be training there, everything's going very well for me. If the fellas there, there's a bit of shit going on back here at, at the moment. You have your people there not long for to try to stop me from training. I do me training, everything's going very, very well for me. So on the 19th of April, I see you there, Simon, over in England. And John Navin, or John Navin's sons, the Mexican, and the, the Bumbies knows that. That is the day of the fight. So I'll see you on the 19th, Simon. I'm not going on no more YouTube, so I'll be ready for the fight. And don't be making a laugh of yourself. You good for nothing, little shit. I see you sparring, Simon, little fella that I made with a backhander. But sure, I'll be at you one too, but... So don't be making a laugh if you've been on your little YouTube with your little fools of fellas sparring. Spar top me, like those sparring fellas as good as world champions, Connie Sheet and Dean Gardner. All big top men, fellas that do be out fighting a world championship, pure peens, things like that. I fight top, I go and spar top men when I fight, not novices. So you go and get a bit of fucking courage and come out and fight me, you fucking moron. See you on the 19th, kid. <laughs> The young Hulk is back, boy. I was never gone anyway. People came to be the young fucking kings. And won't fight me. The whole fucking world knows that. Man. It's only one. I'm a good man, old fucking. Picking your own fights. There's only one young king in there from there, boys. I know that now. Alright, listen, I want to fight Simon next Sunday. Listen, Anthony, there's a young fella there for you as well. Will you fight at me? Will you fight? Will you fight? Listen, will you fight? Stutter him out. Will you fight? Will you fight, Anthony? Our, our, our child's talking. You can't talk, man, but your old child's facing you. Stutter him out. You're done, man, when you're caught. Listen, will your brother Simon fight me? Will Simon fight me? Simon the chicken. Chicken Simon, will you? Right, I want to fight Simon. Will he fight me Sunday? Will Simon fight me Sunday? Will Simon fight me Sunday? I want to fight Sunday, dude. Will Simon fight me? You won't give. You won't give me an answer. Look, I'm on you camera now, talking to the camera. The pit McGinley's won't give me an answer. That Simon will fight me. You're a show you are. Will Simon fight me? Now listen, realize you're on, you're getting on YouTube. So answer up right. Will Simon fight me? Right, listen, I'm going to give Simon the one bait that my father gave out Laney. Do you know that? Let them handicap, and I'm going to leave Simon handicap. You're nobody's dirt, and you, you little shit, you. What's this going to get Anthony? Okay? Anthony, stutter him out. Anthony, there's a young fella there for you as well, boy. We have a man for all your brothers. You dirt. Get Simon to fight me Sunday. Okay. Listen, are you, are you fighting Sunday, you? Are you fighting Sunday? There's no drink behind there, boy. Are you is Simon fight me Sunday? Will Simon fight me Sunday, will he? Listen, the nobodies won't fight the one. They're asked to fight, give it to you, they won't do it. There's Brother John. Hey, just give a fucking straight hand to you. Fighting Joe Sunday, what are you doing? Will you give it, will you give an answer, will you? They won't give an answer, but they're give sure. Give an answer, will you fight Joe Sunday, sure, will you? You dirty fucking wasters, you. You're, you're, you're wasters. We'll be over there Sunday to fight some of them. We'll be there Sunday. We've had the wasters, you. Don't know hey, Simon, you're fucking wasters, you. 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 Simon, you're fucking wasters, you
And yeah, don't be yes. And Joe's there inside me, hear me? He packed it dirty. Come on, up Joyce, up Joyce. We'll be there, we will be. Me and Simon, or John, Joe, and you, you. What's it called? Anthony, and or Davy and Barney. We'll be here Sunday to fight, man, on Manhattan side. Good luck, you nobody. You're gonna on, you're gonna on YouTube now, he wouldn't give us an answer. You're a show. Will Simon fight me? Will the little young king fight? The little young king, the, the chicken. Simon the chicken. Good luck, chicken. Bye. <laughs> They're a show, they are. Listen. That was Simon McGinley's, uh, Simon McGinley's two brothers there now. We asked him for a date for the fight Sunday, and they won't give us a date. The, and young Mexican and Nevin, we're, we're chatting them this evening, we're ringing them back in the morning, man's in the pub for to get these fights on for next Sunday. That's it, you can't run your old sheep down together. They're getting their fights now, he's fighting at me, throw her here for Simon, you put a day once with Barney, and I'd be a brain rest. See you lads. Well Simon McGinley. I, s I sent a challenge to you yesterday, you won't, you won't come back to me and say you'll fight. Young Mexican Navy and Rangip today, you won't give the man no right answer that you're fighting or not. Listen, I want to fight you Simon, or David wants to fight Barney, John Joe wants to fight you after me. We're willing to fight you Sunday or Sunday week, right? If you're not ready, if you need time to train, give us a three month stay. Get back to us, get these fights on, we want these fights to happen. For once and for all, the fights need to happen, you're too fond of out here. You're going to, you, you won't reply back to those now because we are proper fighting men. You got a little fella the other day, a little harmless man, that met a little DVD about you, how to truth about you, and you met him go on and cry and apologise to you. But yet you won't reply back to those because we are proper fighting men. Would you let it do to a little harmless man? Now Simon, you brought all this shit on yourself, claim to be kings and this and that. You're nobodies. There's nobody a king. My father's the king, Big Joe Joyce. No other man since that is the king. My father's the king, you'll hold it till the day he dies. And ye shits need be trying to claim it, because there's no one of Blanchie that was ever kings. Only one king was my father. Simon, get back to you. The shop must be going out your body now about your... about. I know you're shaking. Get over it, man. Come out and fight. You're supposed to be the young king. If you beat me, I reckon you could be the king. But I don't think this is going to happen, man. Good luck. George Ice, you're back on YouTube again. Every year, every Christmas happens. Four years now in the row, you're at it. For Simon McGinley, the king. The whole world knows who I am. I am the young king, Simon McGinley. Always remember, Joe. Simon McGinley's not afraid to fight. I'm ready to fight Sunday or Sunday week, what you say? Get your ass to England. And I, I'm not putting 50 grand or 60 grand or nothing into it. It's 20,000 pound a man sterling money in England. Sunday coming or next Sunday. I'm happy with your fair play, man, man Mexican uh, Navy. Navy. But I, you have to be, you be happy, have to, ha, have to be happy with my fair plan, Big Bobby McPhee from Scotland. A true fight man as well. Fairest man in the country. The whole world knows that. He'll give you show fair play, he'll give me the best of fair play. From both sides, he'll show fair play for. But Joe, you're, you're, every, you're every Christmas on YouTube saying, calling the world's bad old names about McGinley's. I am a true McGinley man, and the whole fucking world knows that. I'm not here to fucking mess about, I'm here to fight, Joe. I am training for a fight in the morning with the 20 this month, but it never happened. I am super fit, Joe. I'm ready to rock and roll any day. No, you'll be a big fat potty in you. I'll tear, I'll tear the body out of you. I'll tear it out of you, fucking handicap you. Ye mode, Wellington, Greyhound Jaces, Dirty Tramps, Gearheads, Mackheads. Tell them the fuck off now. Joe, get yourself to England Sunday. Not this Sunday or not. The next time I'm, I'm angry with all ye. Trying to say I won't fight. I'll fight any man. Man, you, any man, I'll fight. Bring your little six of a crew with you, or seven of a crew with you, to England. There's plenty of more brothers and brothers to be here to fight. Any time, any day, lads. We'll give all ye, we'll give all ye a chance off the kings again. Me old fellow will fight your daddy as well, some will come in. We'll all fight again, Barney will fight, Trevor will fight, we all fight. And we'll show what we fucking do to the mud. Prick ass. Well, it ain't. Ye left your heart in the bog. The bog hole ye left your heart in. Barney left Davy's heart, Joe's heart. Out, Joe, we left all you in the bog hole. We are the kings. The McPhee's, the show of fair play. Fucking true fighting men. And the whole fucking world knows that. Old Bobby fucking fought all his life a fair man. His son Stephen, Billy, James and all of them. Carmella, get over the old show of false fair play. And we're happy with the Mexicans to show fair play as well. Fair play from both sides. We'll show how's it. 
And get lost, Joe. No, Joe. The more David Don't be afraid, Sunday, Joe. Bring over Sunday. twenty grand, Joe. Twenty grand. Bring 20, it over now, man. Now come on now. Fifty thousand pounds. Come on, Joe. You have, fight, you have your fight now. You have your fight. It is agreed with it now. I'm wet for this. Get yourself over. He agreed with the get fight, Joe. Now come on, Joe. Alice, get over, Alice. One arm, Alice. Get over. This is uh, Barney King is speaking here, uh, young Joe. The trip last night showed me a bit of an outfit that you made there on Facebook talking about Simon King, that you want to fight a brother of mine. Now, it's been exactly one year from the day you came that you started the full act again on Christmas, that you want to fight Simon King and you want to fight in Christmas month and get it over and done with. Right, I'll get back to that that we're talking about. We gave you the date to the Bumbies in London, which is great friends of ours, which is cousins of ours, lovely gentlemen like ourselves, proper through warriors as well. And you said you just wanted to fight Simon King. We get the dates on the 4th or the 5th of January, the box you, Joe, you rings up, you wanted the 19th or 18th of April, I could not tell you, but that's what you said you wanted it. Right, I will get back to that point. At the time, you should have took a chance when you had the chance to fight Simon, which you were never bit. I knocked you out, Joe, in Dublin. Now, in a minute, I'll get back to that, and I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Then you turn around and say, your brother John says that he was there to fight any of everyone's to box. Well, I'm going to tell you now, John, about your brother Davey, so I box Davey and this and that. There was three fights in Navin. Me old fella, me and Trevor's. Me old fella bit your daddy several times, turned his brain, which is an Irish, him out. an Irish Navi has no brain. He's a fool. He's only a silly man. If he's bet now, five minutes after he's not fed again, like what I done to you, John. He done knocked out in front of the bog. I brought you, John, down to the bog, son, and I knocked you out in three minutes, stopped you in three minutes, which is the word we are to see. I am sorry, son, I am more than sorry. He turned him in the junkie. I am more than sorry, son, that I put you on crack cocaine, and I'll never get no purse that because your wife and your children are looking at you, jetting gear into your body. But you are a gear, the world knows that. The world knows that. But anyway, that's right, listen. Out of the point of that, back to your brother Davy. Right, you said Davy's going to fight me. Trevor's stopped for Davy, which the world knows that. It's there to prove in Navin that Trevor stopped the Quinn Short Fair Plate. Trevor stopped Davy, which is there to be to be seen. Right, Davy, get back now to me and you. How could you fight the world champion of the world, a heavy burden looking in the world, which is King Barney, when my brother Trevor stopped you? I'll tell you what's going to happen. You says when I bet John, that you fight me, Davy, in four or five years from now, and that you have the vote me. I says to you, on the spot and napping, fight me now, you little shitty ass, and I promise you, I'll put me on three or five out of the George's paddy. Talk off, Ronan. You took off down that laneway, fast as a greyhound dog, which there is proof in Roscommon that your father lie in Roscommon, and you're quicker than greyhounds. Your own people said the mons all said it. It's there to be, if that lies to be dear, it's there to be proved. Right, get back on here, the point of that on here is right. Right, Davy. It's like you, t a person turning the fish in the morning morning, and a team of fish in fight, and wants a shot of the world title of Tyson Fury. You can't jump on three pro fights and go to Tyson Fury and try to go for a world title. You cannot do it. It's the same as me. I hold the heavyweight world title, but we're looking. I am the best top man in the world. In the world, it's there to be proved. So, Davy, you never be my lead. Right now it is. And Davey, you're out of it. You're gone. Forget about you. Forget about your draws. Forget about your losers. Forget about your losers. You have to get wins to get to me, Davy. Right? You're out of it, Davy. You're bent. You're done. You're, the you're a nobody. You're a, you're a fool in the past. Now, get back to you, Joe. In the little accommodation house where the cages over the doors that you were locked inside the Ayala Scummy Cup. Now, throws from pre max Duns, did you go from Ireland? Did you know the scruffiest people in the world I've ever seen? You're talking, about, you're talking about us, proper businessmen. Look, look, proper workmen. Pro we are proper of Mukai. We are through McGinley's, proper through Warriors. We are the legends. Now, Joe, back to you. You said you want to fight King Simi. I knocked you out, Joe. Last year, I was thinking of a great friend of ours, which is Big Edward McDonough in Dublin. They call him Big Sam McDonough. John Doherty was there, Martin Doherty, Jeremy Uncle Patrick was there. They didn't the until half three or four o'clock in the morning. I lands back to Clumdalkin, back to Clumdalkin town. And the next morning, I get up and I had a furry, furry bad hangover, an awful hangover. You heard King Barney was in Dublin. King is in Dublin. I get his autograph. I come here, I look at him, he get a wee box up and at least he's the king. We know he's the king. I lands out in the shop and said, I got a bit of food and I'll take away place. And I was eating a bit of food. My little boy turned and said, Daddy, there's a guy. He says, you hit me a little shot from the side. I sidestepped you. 
You put your two hands up. You made two shots. Miss, miss, miss. Second shot I hit. First shot I hit you. I broke your eye socket, which is that right, the right eye, I closed your eye up. The second shot I hit you, young Joe, I threw it on the floor. You were not clean out. Fair play to your brothers and your nephews, you have a bitch little knives, and you burst me in to the shopping centre, I won't tell a lie. It grabs you and it runs you to an old silver Victor car that you were driving in Clondalkin and told you the right car you were just in a different world. And then you talk to fight Simon King. Listen, I'm pushing him 40 years of age, and Simon King had put his hand to your forehead, out your ass bone, and he'd do you the best favour in the world, take the woman's vice out of you and give you a man's vice, or give you no vice. Put him into the coma. You, you're useless, you're a big old fat, hairy child, a big old soft boy, and you'll never be, never be an hour leader boxing. You had your chance to fight Simon King. The only way you fight Simon King, come back to me in one condition, no draws, no losers, no losers, no draws. Get a lot of wins, you and Davy. I will Probably give fast. a shot of your title, Joe, back that I knocked you out. I'll tell you who was there, Joe. Can make a liar of it. The O'Donnells was there. The Twin Towers from Dublin was there. The Witch Doctor's family was there. The Corkwittons was there. Ned Morgan's family was there, which has nothing got to do with the people. The people has got great respect for me. I've got great respect for you. They can't correct this right. This is the truth. I knocked you on the front of 30 men with two jabs. Left and right, you were failed. So how could you fight Simon King when I knocked you out? Simon, give him Now get knowledge. back to the king here that I will knock the head of your body. And when you're able to come to me, come to me and I will give you a fight from your heart that I will stop you with two raps again. Now lads, it's over done with this. is my last DVD. It's finished, done and dusted. Now you got your chances. You wouldn't fight last year. You got the chance again. You wouldn't fight. So listen, it's over and done with. I'm driving with Christmas. I'm with my wife and my family. It's Christmas time. We're having a lovely life. We're having a great. Listen, you wouldn't be good enough to house King's Court, Simon King's Court. You wouldn't be good enough to fight him when I'm pushing him 40, which I'm the best man in the world. Me and Tyson Fury. We are the greatest. Now, to all my fans in Boston, happy, Merry Christmas. To my cousin Bobby Gunn in America, Merry Christmas. This is coming from the true warrior. King Barney is the best traveling man in the world. And do me some a favor, I'm sorry, John. I do apologize, you're on smack cocaine. But then you haven't got a brother to fight me. You might have a son to fight me. But then again, it'd be a sin of God. I'll never get no prayers. If I ever beat your son, which I will beat him, and put him in crack cocaine, and to see your wife <laughs> and your children looking at you, father and son, King Barney put me on gear. <laughs> I never fought. <laughs> it's over. Me outfit have turned your daddy's brain seven times. We turned your brains in the ball. We own it. Merry Christmas to all my fans in Boston and America. I am the best type of man in the world. In hey. the world. Me, Tyson Fury. Go on. Well, Barney, you made a DVD earlier on saying that you hopped me two tumps up in Dublin. Which you know the whole world knows that's a lot of shit. What happened up in Dublin was, we were coming from a different man all together about different fights, yes? On our way back, we saw you inside, outside a chipper and you ate a curry chip, which are big square head and your curry chip head, right? We put in Barney, the treatments ran out with top of you. You dropped your can, your little body saw us coming and you're all run, daddy, run. You ran inside the, the shopping centre, you sent out two short men, you didn't look behind, you didn't know who it was until you got to the shop and hit the door. After that, you sent out your brother in law, Connie Ho's son, and he came out and told us Barney ran the wobs, he said. And that's all that happened, right? You're, you're shit talking, right? Another thing, Simon, everyone was all happy and excited that this fight was supposed to happen. You made a laugh yourself, no Simon again. You won't fight me, you're just not able for me. To claim all the kings you want to be, I drop my hands out of you now. You're, the king you're, you're not able for me. I am the king over the McGinley family now. Ain't the McGinley family. I am, look, I said to thee I'm no king. I am the king now, look, number one, over Ain't the McGinley sons. The King George eyes over in no other travellers, any McGinley sons, I am their bosses, right? They will not fight me, they're making a laugh for themselves. I want to fight, I'm six six foot two or three, I'm nineteen stone, you said Simon I have a belly man? Maybe I have a bit of a belly boy, but you're gonna feed that man. Right, listen Simon, you were not a tape today, you were as good as crying. You know you don't want to fight Simon. Your brothers told you today don't make the make the DVD. Maggie said, let him make it, he said, Your mother Maggie just let you make it just to Please yourself. You won't fight me, Simon. You're making a show of yourself. I am willing to fight you, Simon, Sunday week if you wanted, and you won't fight. You're a show, man. Well now, Barney, get back to your shit ass brother Anthony. I'm going to fight him the same day as Joe and Simon and Davy and Barney. Be like me. Don't be wearing the frilly knickers that come out on the day. That's all I no, say. No, I'm getting back to you, Barney, as well, right? 
it's a bad way to make these jokes. It's, it's so called to Christmas, right? But this is going to directly to Amy McGillie's sons. We're not having these McGillie's back here in Ireland or England. It's just she. The reason why we're arguing with she, you're never done off these YouTube tapes claiming to be Jesus. Earlier on this year, there was supposed to be a deal made for you signing to stay off these jokes, not saying that you're the king and it did not be everything left over that. But you weren't able to do that. You kept coming up. And every time you come up talking about kings, he's going to be there. Fight. Right. Now, Barry, you said that. That should have fought on me and crack and crack cocaine. I never took crack cocaine in my life, I don't know what it is. It must be a serious enough drug, right? So I, I'm not into that. I'm six foot three, Barney, and I'm 17 stone, right? So there's no crack cone out of here. Now, I seen truth today. You should be out on the road running, because you're going to be going belly out, yeah? He's just hitting in here. Here you are, look at you like that. If you're in his old condition, you're going to be going right. Teddy Tubby of an old soft fool of a body. Right, that's what you are. You're an innocent fool of the body. Now, trust me, Barry. Sunday week, we will be over in England. My brother David Barry wants to have a go with you. Mad to have a with you for the last four to five years. He's at it for Simon. He's at it for, for your pet you? and your brother Anthony. And stuff and around. Around. You have to get your brother Michael, right? Pay him out to me or take my stuff in my father's eyes. No bother. We, and listen, you're going around and ringing up with all people that. That's making all mistakes about you looking for apologise and all, and you're making people apologise. Ask us for apologise. We give you no apologise. The only thing we want off you is a couple of fair fights, Sunday week, over in, in that site, and that's it. And put this to bed once and for all. Stop coming out with all these excuses. All you're doing is just making a show of your chance. Send out your brother to fight. Simon. Maybe one fight or none. Send him out. Don't make a laugh yourself, Simon. Everyone wants to see the fight. You should be excited for the fight. You're claiming to be the young king, Simon. Come out and fight. If you can, if you want to be the young king, come and fight men, fight men, Simon. Don't make a laugh yourself. Come out to proper men. I, I fight a good man. I fight a man O'Donnell, six foot seven or eight. I fight Mike and Maven, six foot four. Fucking uh, Mike Quinn McDonough. Talk, oh talk yeah, man. another thing. Cowboys Michael I fight. Me and him had a very good fight, Jess. Very good cagey fight. That boy, I heard for a fact, I never heard it off no Mike Quinn, I heard it off a man that was there looking at. Went over the Stoke and Trent and took the head of you inside your boxing ring. And you know that for a fact, that's why you won't fight me, because Cowboys Michael gave you that bad of a beating, and you know to fight me and Cowboys Michael had, that's why you're hiding from me, man. Because Cowboys Michael couldn't take his left hand off your face. And I ain't gonna hurt you all together, but no, there'll be no gloves to save you. I get you out the road if you ever do come out, and I'll break you up, man. What kind Seven of stupid, minutes. what kind of stupid people are you on about kings, kings, kings? The other day you made more hate your kings. James Quinn was making some old kind of documentary the other day. You had to get hand a tape to that man here at 50 years of age. Make and apologise, James Quinn. Don't ever come down the road where I am. Behind the king, behind the king. And he also And he goes to be your friend. The man is living over there in the one town as you. And yet you're bullying them people. What kind of people are you? No, I mean, you're stupid. You're, how the fuck are you supposed to have friends? You're right. You've never done that, has you? There's one thing for sure. Harry, if you want to rock down, boy, we'll rock down any day of the week with you. There's one thing for sure. You will never the kings over us. We don't care who else that's off you over the world. You will never oh, be no, the kings over us. Big Joe and his sons, number one. No apologise, no husband. Sorry, off again, Well, Simon, I saw your tape there this morning. Fair play to you, accept the fight. I'll be over in Manhattan site Sunday week to fight you, Simon. Forget about your money, that's any shit. You're only looking for a way out of it. I'll be over there Sunday week to fight, or John Stewart will be there to fight Anthony. Or Dave will be there to fight Barney for three fights. If not, me and you will fight one way or another. Right, Simon, you're not about to I'm calling me getting these names. I'm calling nobody names. I won't fight off nobody. Only you claim to be a king that you're no king, Simon. And I proved that Sunday week when I beat you because I'm no king and I'm going to beat you. So that lets you know how bad you're going to be. You're no good, Simon. Another thing, I accepted McPhee's to show fair play. I'm coming from Ireland. I'm going to Manhattan for the site to fight. Mexican neighbor to show me fair play in that site. You bring whoever who you want, you can bring the McPhee's to show you fair play over there. I, I'll accept that. I'm going over to the Manhattan site to beat you, Simon, and I'll see you Sunday week. I'll be prepared to fight the man. And you're very nervous looking, Simon, on the tape road to show. Don't be panicking. There's only a couple of snaps. We're fighting for family pride, not money, man. I wouldn't, ta I wouldn't take a million pounds into my hand now to lose the fight against you, Simon. So money won't be an option for me and you to fight. I'm beating you, Simon. Get that into bed. I'll see you Sunday week. Good luck. Happy Christmas. Joe, I said you all supply last night, but you made. You give me the deeds, the fight, and I accept it. The whole world knows any any sons will fight. You know, that's not a problem to me. I accept your deeds on the week, the fight is on, yeah? But Joe, 
please listen to me, Bernard. This has to stop between me and you. If it's ha it's stopping this on the week between me and you. This this can't keep going on every year, four year in the row. This can't keep going on. Every Christmas you make a YouTube when you get a few old laggers in yeah in the in the house with your old brothers taking a bit of drugs, smoking a few old fags, whatever it is, it's your own business. But do what you want. But this has to stop between me and you. Get the fight out. Okay, Joe. He went down and said, this is for pride. At the end of the day, Jules, he have no pride in the fudge. We have all your pride. The beginning of has your year pride, the is pride. Joe only has one son left. Left. Take your kid for young Joe, yeah? Okay. Joe, Barney hit you one slap in, 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 in Dublin. The witch doctors was there. The Twin Towers was there when Barney hit you a slap, which I knocked the clean out. But from, from the point that I'm not looking for that for next use to, to say it's it, I won't fight. The fight is accepted. Sunday week is accepted. And you're saying it's only for pride about money. Joe, it's only twenty thousand pounds. You're you're accepting me challenge last year for fifty thousand. You're gonna come over, you and your family for fifty thousand pounds a piece. This is only twenty thousand pounds. Twenty thousand pounds each man. Give the referees for I've got the road or the day before, I'll give him money, you give your money, we'll accept it, but I'll I know, your, your day is accepted, get over. Back feet was not to show me fair play. It's not happening in Hamlet Hatcher side. You bring your team, I bring my team to Scotland. Big Bobby, the back fees, has a place in Scotland. Wherever it is, you want to take it out the road, we'll take it out the road. Whatever it is, is, is happening in Scotland. You give the dates, Sunday week, I'm accepting it. I'm happy to accept it. One thousand percent accepting it. I am not afraid, no man, my new job. At the end of the day, kid, from the point that I'm looking to the side, you're saying your father was a man. Old Joe, thank you for the Mullingar, the Navin's show fair play, James Quimmer's show fair play. You're saying, old Joe, we're drinking for three weeks in England. At the end of the day, Joe, see if you are drinking for three weeks in England. Your old father was drinking as well. My, my father was drinking for six weeks for his nephew, little Willy, Linus Willy. Six weeks he was drinking with, in, in our clone. Six weeks. He was a week off the drink and he had the bag for his, for his brother Simon's blessing in Ireland. And he brought you out the road, Joe, and he gave you a very bad beating. You see, you weren't in shape. More than me old fella, he wasn't in shape. The whole world is looking at that. My father bet you in the young day, mine, when he was an old man. <laughs> Joe, you're saying you, you want to send a second ago you were drinking for three weeks. My father was for six weeks. And if you wake off the drink, he went back and bet the shit out of you. There's no point to that. In a fair fight, I always remember this, the whole world is looking at me. In a fair fight, there's no fouls, there's no head button, there's no biting, and there's no kicking. Old Joe bit my father three times. Three times? He bit, he bit my father on the ear. James Quinn, big the Navins, give my father the fight on the day. Okay, go back to Barney and John. What choice ever beat any McGinley sons? What what can you just tell me for a minute? Where did any son say about for Joyce? Never in his life. Here John rolling fucking cried saying back to my brother Barney. Roared and cried. Yeah fucking monger pup yeah. Go back then from out from Barney then go back to Trevor and uh, Davies fight. Davy and Trevor fought for 40 minutes. It was two good men. But at the end of the day, a fair play from both sides. Here Davy fouled Trevor three times, near him, put his fingers into his eyes, the neighbor knows that from, 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 from Ireland. James Quinn knows that. He gave the fight to Trevor after 40 minutes. And when your Davy went back to the gym, when, uh, the, when your Davy went back to the gym, he only found out he had one lung. Said that we do When he had one Davey, lung. One lung Davy. One lung Davy used to blow up. <laughs> we can't, I can't really say no more than that. <laughs> and you're gonna see him, the old job. Old Joe was never big, but at the end of the day, my father did put him handicap in the brain. Do you ever see a monkey playing a guitar? Was that impossible? Was impossible? And drinking a pint of Guinness. A pint of Guinness and a guitar he was drinking. Oh, well, the Joyce's. The well of the Joyce's. You're not black Joyce's. They are disgrace in the world. You're the well of the Joyce's. You're making a laugh, you know, Joe. You're looking for an excuse. There's no excuse here. It's £20,000 a piece. Come on. Start the money in the UK. It's happening. Sunday week, me and you. This is the young king and here. And if you're not over in Sunday week, please, Joe, I'm asking you, this has, this has to stop. Just, please, just leave it alone. When you're all right, I am going to put you in the divorcement case when I get you. See the make you, would you? I can't, I can't call you. What can I call you? 
And you, I don't want your happy Christmas. You go shop your happy Christmas on your fucking arse. Off your black arse monkey, hole. You dirty <laughs> bastards, the whole fucking lot of ye. I don't want to get ye. Please, George, for me family's life. I'll kill you, Joe. He I is the young I'll king, Joe. You. Look at him, man. Come on, we're celebrities now, we are. I'm not fighting for nothing. It's not going to happen. Like Mike Quinn, the boys, they won't fight for nothing, will they? They have to fight for money when they go the road. This is not like 20 years ago or, or five years ago. Yes, Joe. If he owned our title, it would be a different story. I would love from the bottom of my heart to go back and get my title back. But at the end of the day, Joe, you haven't got the balls to put £20,000 up to come and fight me. You said I'm a slap. I'm a slap, yeah. If I'm a slap, you should be able to make me then. And you should be able to put £20,000 up. You should have £20,000 between every one of you. £20,000 is not a lot of money. And Joe, you're locked behind cages. Ah, uh, boys, it's ridiculous. Living in your own home with kids up in the window. An open but gym. I always remember, you're the greatest Joyce's anyway. You're the monkeys. The monkeys, that's what you are. We have to keep you locked in. We've got to keep you locked in. It's Christmas Day now. Get your little arse over. You'll go wild. Get your arse over to England and bring Davy one lung. Bring her out. Oh, my old fella. My old fella wants to show the world what he's going to do to me again. Bring him. Bring one lung. Bring yourself. Afterward, bring him as well. Bring all them. Over to this. When me brother, when me brother sign me, finish what you do. He's gonna put you back into the miniature cage. You're never fucking one of you. Wanna fight your life? You always hit all drunk men when they're fucking drunk. Come over and see what me old fella do. You wanna go many years, dear? Joe, get yourself over. Get lost. I want a happy Christmas. Shop your happy Christmas on your fucking arse. Oh, fuck. Well, Bobby McPhee, big Bobby McPhee, a good fight man in the world. All world knows about Bobby McPhee, what he is. Happy Christmas, Ali. In Glasgow, James, James, Carmela, Billy, Stephen, Ollie. Happy Christmas Day and fair play to you, our fucking true fighting men in Scotland. Like ourselves. Fair play, man. A lot of people, a lot of people out there want to see Hos bet and see E bet. What, what we always have to say, they'll never be Scotland and Ireland together. Will they? <laughs> <laughs> happy Christmas, Ollie. Off the boys. And a happy New Year and take care. God Give you all back, yeah? Happy God bless. Good night. Thank you. Bobby Gunn. Happy Christmas, you and your family, your mother and all, the, all your own family, your dad, and I'm going to America, USA. Your king side of you, I'm going to go to Australia. I'll be going to money, just, just talking about something, but what? You will be quick, me right, tell all your friends in America. When you be, when you, when the McGinley's own a title of the Joyce's family, when, when you would have fight, would you fight for no money, Bobby? I would, Bobby. Yes, years ago, it's a different story now. What's happening? In, we're in 2015, nearly 2016. Has to be money. Young Joe said it was for pride. It's not for pride. We own their pride. We want to say it on the first day this morning. I met three YouTubes so far. Young Joe never accept Big Bobby McFee's fair play for Scotland. They went back on YouTube, they were corrected, they were correct the rights from Scotland to fight me. The board in Scotland, when they, when they get on the board, in the world, Big Bobby, Apollo, Billy McPhee, Carmel, Stephen, every one of the boys, Big Bobby McPhee will give them the best of fair play in the world of Scotland. Three DVDs went down, no DVD accident accepted. Forget about them, they won't fight Bobby Gunn, you know they won't fight. The whole world knows they won't fight. They won't fight Young King, Simon McGinley, they won't pay me Bobby, you know that. But at the end of the day, they're a disgrace, the whole world knows what's happening. Old Joe said he never met his life. He was met by my dad, Dan Rooney, but the car got lorry to the foot and broke his leg, snapped his leg, and, and Joe gave best. But he said he was never met, that was it. It was never heard, never heard there. But fair play to you, Bobby. At the end of the day, I have respect for me, Bobby. I would say why well, I have respect for you. Would you fight a man without no money? You won't, Bobby. You won't give them the shot of the title. It has to be money. It's not a lot of money, only £20,000. Tell Joe, get his art to Scotland. I'll be there Sunday week for, for young Joe. And tell him, bring who he wants to bring with him. There's men there for them as well. Davy Wan Lung, every one of them. There'll be men there Sunday week for them. Happy Christmas and a happy new year to all your friends in America, USA, young Simon King. Take care, good best. Right, lads. This is me, Barney McGinley. Your worst nightmare, right? Take a look around here, Barney. This is where you lost all your pride seven years ago. In the bog in Ireland. 
You lost all your pride here. Right? Now, I just want to correct a few things, Barney and Simon, what you're saying on the videos. You know who this is? This is your worst nightmare, Barney. The man that's begging you to fight me for the last seven years, I am begging you to fight me. You know that. I know that. The world knows that. Now, Barney, you're saying that you have the McGinley's has the Jace's pride. He and McGinley's sons has Big Joe's son's pride. Well, Barney, the whole world knows you lost your little bit of pride seven years ago out in this bog. Take a good look around. You lost your pride out here seven years ago by a man by the name of Jaws's Paddy. Right? You lost your pride here. We were refereeing the fight, Barney. And Barney, we have a little thing here for you now. We have it here for the last seven years. And I'm going to give you a look. It's going to bring a lot of memories back to you. Tell them what we do when we bring fellas out to show fair play. Every time we bring fellas out to show a fair play, we do bring them over here beforehand, over to this little thing over here, and show you now, Barney, what you left behind. There are your little gum shields, Barney. Look at them. You left them behind seven years ago. That's your little pride there now. You left that little pride behind seven years ago with the bait and jaws as Paddy gave you. Right? That's anyone has your pride, you left your pride here in this book. And after that fight, Barney, I could smell all shite. I thought it was a cow out in the field, because we're in a big old bog. But I went over to you, and I could smell she how you. You shit your pride in this bog seven years ago. Now, Barney, Joe's gone over Sunday week, over to fight Simon. That's tomorrow week. I am begging you, Barney, for the last seven years to come out and fight me. Keep looking at your gum shields, Barney. Keep looking at them. Seven years I'm begging you to come out and fight me. I'll be there tomorrow week, Barney, to bring you to school and take the small little tiny weeny bit of pride what you have in your body left. I want to take that off you. No, you're smart. If you have any pride, prove it. If you have any, you'll come out to me Sunday week and fight. You big fat shite Right? Now take one more look around, Barney. This is where your pride is. See it? That's all those stones here, look. You fell here. And remember the words, Barney, what you said, that never came out of me or Joe's mouth. Or never will. Do you remember the remember the old words you said? This is where you fell over here, or Joe. Do you remember the time you, you got bit in old bog? Time Paddy gonna Remember the words you said? Of enough, of enough, of enough, of enough. You couldn't get out quick enough. Do you remember them words? They never came out of our mouth. And them words, Barney, is going to come back to haunt you tomorrow week if you come out the road with me. I am going to bring you to school, you dirty... I've seen you on the table, I don't want to call no names. I'm not calling names. You dirty, fat bastard. How would you be kings, Burger Kings? You're a big, fat man, Barney. How can you fight the likes of us? A big, fat man you are. Come out, Barney, Sunday week, and I'll bring you to school. Now, the reason why I'm not showing me faces over different things whatsoever. Here, Joe, do you want to say a few words? But, um, yeah, come over in a minute, say a few words, Joe. I leave them old gumshees there. You know what Barney said? Yeah. This is where Barney was, yeah? Go back. This is where Barney was. Paddy had a couple of shots, he fell down his hunk of these. And when he got back up, he shit on a lump of turf over his hole, look. In the bugs of Barney, you left that behind you, did Barney? I think there's shy hand as well, is there? That's Barney shit. There's shit hand as well. come out of you, Barney, when Jaws and Paddy hits his last right hand on the side of the brain, look. That come out of you, man. That's his pride, boys. Look, look, you have a pride. That's his pride, though. Here's your gum shields, here's your shit. Seven years later. Keep a look at him, gum shields again, Joe. He. Oh, he didn't want to see them, but that's why I want to let him see them. There's all blood in them, gumshees still, boys. Still not. All blood in them. Oh, Barney, we're going now. I'm not making no more replies to you, Barney. You can say what you want now. I'll be over there tomorrow week and come out, Barney. When Joe, Joe's bait inside me, I give it ten, ten minutes. He's knocking them out. Right? And another thing, Barney, Joe, get to what I'm saying about, remember what I was saying about knocking, if you knocked you out one time. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Or do you chatting, hot the man. Big Martin Stokes, we never got to go with all the chaps yet. No, the people that make a laugh at you, they were not chatting. You, they, they saw nothing because nothing did happen, right? Only you run into the shop. Nothing happened, small Martin Stokes came afterwards. Loads of people know it's Barney, you're shit talking. <sighs> Witch doctors, they were chatting all day on the phone, they're making a laugh at you. Ah, they're fucking innocent man. You're a show, Barney. The world is making a laugh. Looking at them people again, chatting into the face after you tell lies about the people. We just have to ring up. 
the Twin Towers now, even though there's any height that's ringing, I mean, because... Minutes making a laugh at right. The people are making a laugh at you. Or even shot two of them there last night, and the people are making a laugh at you the war. You're a show you are. Now, lads, I'm just going to say this once to you. When we come to London, you're living all around the London areas, all around the surrounding areas, right? There's not 20 mile in there between the whole of you, right? From London. We're going to London Sunday, right? Don't run to a different country. Scotland, that's a different country. Don't be running up around Scotland hiding. Do you hear me? Stay, stand your fucking ground and come out Sunday week and put this to bed. And we'll prove who's the best family, Ian McGillney's family or George Ice's family. We are the best family, right? Now, as simple as we'll be over there Sunday in London, that's your place. You're not 20 miles. Don't run up to a different country, up, up to Scotland. Don't, be run, don't do that, boys. Don't, the whole world is going to be watching this. We're going over there and you'll see us and don't be running to other countries. Now, I'm telling you, boys, cop on. Your money bet is covered. Everything is covered. We're going over Sunday. Now, Barney, fat hole, fat shite, come out and fight me. One more look at these old gumshies, boys. <laughs> here they are, there. When, no. when we bring fellas in this bog for the fight, we do tell them, look at Barney's gumshies, lads. You don't want a reminder left like that there after seven years getting bit. So we do tell them who tries to lift the spurs up before the fight. As he's out right there, right boys? I'll give you one more look at the Ireland bog. Where Barney was bit, boys. Where Barney was bit. Right, lads. Oh, what, and you know the only pity, boys? Because we saved him. We were right to let Charles and Paddy BM into that bog hole. Oh, right, let him in there. I don't know what it be a sin or not. Good luck, lads. <laughs> look. Cool. Well, Simon, you met two DVDs yesterday saying I wouldn't reply back to you for this fight. You know the fight is on. The reason why I wouldn't reply back to you yesterday because it was Jesus' birthday, Christmas Day. The king of everybody. And you going around yesterday claimed to be a, a king, man. And on, on Jesus Christ's birthday. Will you cop on, Simon, man? Right, listen. This fight is happening, Simon, me and you, Sunday week here. I'm going over to London to fight. I'll be in Mexican name and site at 11 o'clock in the morning to fight. My brother Dave will be there to fight. John Joe will be there to fight. If not, Simon, me and you just fight, Jess. Don't run out of England, Simon, when I come into it. I'm 30 miles away from you. We'll be here from Stoke and Trent. We're heading up to London. We'll be 30 or 40 miles away from you, Simon. Come up and fight. Don't run hundreds of miles away to Scotland to fight. Because there's no fight happening in Scotland. He said another thing that I don't accept the McPhee's. I just don't care who you get to show fair play, Simon. I accept the McPhee's to show you fair play. No problem. Mexican Navy will show me fair play. Up in his side and up in Mexican Navy's side, I'll be fighting it. That's where the fight is happening. You can get any man in... Any man in England, Ireland, Scotland wants to show you fair play, I don't care. If the, if the McPhees doesn't want to leave Scotland to show you fair play, get out James Quinn, get Dodie Stokes, get some of Blondie Simon daughter these, all them people are supposed to be made. Get Bumby's Michael to show you fair play, you're happy with him to do it the last time, him and Mexico is all the one people. You, you asked me the last time I laid you, I, I, I was happy with them. You should be happy with them now, Simon. Get a bit of cup, man. You didn't want the way over, Joe. You didn't want the way over by saying he's going to Scotland. Don't be making a show yourself, Simon. Run to Scotland when I'm running to England, man. That's like we're here in our plane and for us to run down the north when you come here for the fight. Don't make a show yourself, Simon. I'm going over there. I'll be over there Sunday. The money is covered. The money is set is covered as well. We fight for the money. We fight in England. What more can you want? Simon, I'm training the last three months for this fight. I don't want to want now for the get nothing out of it, Simon. There's no drink for Christmas. I'm off to drink 10 or 12 weeks. I want this fight to happen, Simon. Everyone wants, wants to see it happening. You don't be making a show yourself, Simon, or don't be going on YouTube last night making a laugh yourself, asking God shites how does how does bare looking fights happen? We know how bare looking fights happen, Simon. Not the fucking God that you ran about last night that never had a bare looking fight in his life. We're proper fighting men, not fucking bowsies like show like me, show me the real ones. We know how to fight, Simon. We we do bare looking fighting. We don't pay a fella fifty pounds for the fucking line the ground. We, the only way we put the line the ground is with that. The one way I'm going to do it to you next Sunday week when you come out. Now, Simon, don't be, the next time you're making a video, make it to me. Don't be saying, ah, oh, this fella, that fella, you fucking little fool, you. Yeah. I'm there soon to the fight, or they'll be there to fight Barney, John Stewart will be there to fight Softmouth Anthony. Anthony, and Simon, if the other two boys didn't want to fight, me and you will definitely fight. Baby. Me fight. But don't be making no more, he's like more, mention that cop shit. Don't be making no more videos, Simon. I'm making no more now to the min, uh, next to the neighbor's side, Sunday morning at 11 o'clock, and I'm here to fight. Good luck. And the reason why I wish you happy Christmas, Simon, because you might as well enjoy this one as for being your happiest Christmas, because next year, and every other Christmas you have when you're a long mm -hmm. man, you'll never want to forget me, because I just bet you after Christmas. So enjoy this one, because it's going to be your last one undefeated. Good luck, boy.
See your reply, Joe, on YouTube saying you will accept your challenge for 20 grand and you come to England. Okay, Joe, you send me the challenge, I give you the 20 grand. I'm picking the dates and picking the time in England where I'm fighting. Okay, what Caramella McPhee said on YouTube, yeah? For you to leave Arklone to go to London, it's three or four hundred miles, yeah? If you leave Arklone to go to get to Norfolk, it's only a hundred miles and you're in Scotland, Joe, yeah? I ain't giving you both ways. Any part of Scotland, I'll fight you in it, Joe. I'll fight you in Carlisle. I'm fighting any part of Scotland. You send me the challenge, I tell you why I'm fighting in England. It's all England we're fighting in, but it's, it's a border between the, between between shots. You get your fair play man from London, bring them to Scotland, and the McPhees will give you the world of best fair play in the world of Scotland. You can't get any straighter men in the McPhees to give you fair play. And you're going to 20,000 is that. No good now if you come Sunday, Joe, go to London and try to, uh, try to claim victories. No victories till you have to fight. Till you have to fight me, if you beat me, you claim a victory. If I beat you, I own your victory. That's the only way you claim a victory. You can't go to the side and say, I'm here for Sunday for Siamese. That's not going to happen. Me and you on the road, Sunday coming. Has to on the road, Sunday coming in Scotland. Or Carlisle, I'll fight in Carlisle as well, Joe. Any part of England, I'll fight you. Has to be over the border of Scotland. It's 20 grand apiece. And you know little Chucky Arthur, bring him as well, would you? Uh, Stephen McPhee or Carmella, any Bobby Sons will fight him on the same day I'm fighting as well. And there'll be a yard in Scotland as well for him till the McPhees will sort him out. Now, Joe, go back now saying that uh, I won't, I'll fight you, Joe, any part of England, Joe, I say. In Scotland, any part of it. Any part of it, Carlisle, any part where you want, I'll fight you. No coming over Sunday and, and, and mind yourself and have a hassle with the boys. That's not going to happen. Get yourself out. 20 grand, me and you want Carline to Carlisle or Scotland, get yourself the there now. Off. And that's my last DVD till Sunday. Sunday, I'll be in Scotland waiting for you. If you're not there, I own the victory again. Morning, young Alice. Fuck off, young Alice. Alice, get Come over, around. Alice. Cool. Well, this is the message. Last is like the time beginning before the fight Sunday, yeah? Simon, I'll be in England on Sunday at 11 or 12 o'clock to fight, yeah? I can look the young Mexican name and fight the fight, but the money that you pay, the money be there, that'll be covered, that's not, no problem. The money be there, I'm going to England to fight this time, and now you're saying you're going to Scotland, you're getting the Max Peace to show you fair play. You can get the Max Peace to show you fair play, that's no problem. Get two or three of them, Mexican you can get two or three fellas along with him, we go some out the road and we'll have the, a few bangs. Now the Max Peace the last time, so there's no hassle, problem coming up, they went up the time you and time you Bob Cat was fighting. They come up to it, but they couldn't show fair play, whatever happened. So, come up now this time, and uh, we'll have the fight on in, in, in up in London. And Simon, don't be hiding, man. Everyone wants to see the fight. The whole world wants to see it, so don't connect the show yourself saying that you're not fighting. I'm coming, I'm coming from Ireland, over there, I'm going to pick yourself five or six hundred miles. You don't make sure yourself, Simon, running two or three hundred miles away to Scotland. I'm going over to London to fight. Get the fight on, Simon. Everyone wants to see it. They're all people all the beginning, all the judges. And don't mind the Jason and McGinley, all the strange travellers, everybody, even countries want to see this fight. The young country is in the young thing now. So funny talk to you all with her. So see you on Sunday time. Good luck. Chicken order from Ireland, that's what we called you. Yeah. No balls. You're looking at every men's private around the country when they're making YouTubes, yeah? For the men's jeans, you can tell men what they haven't got and what they haven't got. What we called you, it's it's a word from your audience, so we call you a queer, yeah? But at the, always at the end of the hour, you can't tell what people, what they haven't got, what they haven't got. But at the end of the day, you, your balls was left one time in a bog. And the whole world knows that. Why you're out about a bog, a carrot, and two balls, your, your balls was left in, in the bog. You said me and my wife was married last 10 year or or 9 or 10 year. Your sister can prove that we're not married last 9 or 10 year. Me and my wife was married last 4 and a half year Arthur, yeah? My wife is only 20 years of age now Arthur. You only get, how, they say if we're married for 10 year, take 10 year off 20 years of age. How, how, how old would you live now at the minute? At 10 years of age. How would a woman get married at 10 years of age? I'm 24. I wouldn't be married for 10 years. Uh, you said I got married at 14, sure. and my wife at 10. Your babies. <laughs> Put two children, Arthur. But anyway, up and down, your brain is still not civil. What will he do to you? But I'm going to I'm gonna show you where you left your two balls and your carrot. What will he do to you? What's this now, Arthur? And the whole world is looking at this. And your half Go a on. brain. What's this? Go on, Wooly. Go on, Wooly. No harm, same bit, lads. Get the faggot. Get the faggot, <laughs> Wooly. Get the faggot. That's where yeah. you are. <laughs> Oh, you have no balls or no cock. What's this? Martin Stokes to get in the corner until this Patrick. Ah, he's dead. Ah, he's brain damaged. He's brain damaged. Lucky Martin Stokes until this Patrick was there to save you. 
What's this, no brain? My cousin Patrick shaved your arse. <laughs> this how, this how good fight man you are now, Walter. Look at this, Wooly will hit you no more. I wouldn't even look at him what Wooly's done to him. I pity that this is put down to the Guinness Book of the Record what Wooly done to him. He's in the way he is, you're, you're doing me. blood? Did the blood so went to the hospital? Well, how much he lost? Okay, go back from this now. Andy, look at me, yeah? Okay, go back from that now, yeah? Arthur, after this fight, you were put to Royal Lear Hospital in, 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 in Dublin, yeah? With your eyesight gone, till this Patrick was there when your brain was swelling. Your brain was swelling and you went blind in one eye after this fight, yeah? And deaf in one ear. You lost your two balls <laughs> and you lost your carrot, what you're out about, you're trying to call me. And now, Arthur, you're seeing, you, you shot me, you shot me brother Barney ten years ago. Arthur, ten to the day, Arthur. You wouldn't be having enough for Barney, or you wouldn't would you wouldn't be having enough to come out with a gun to Barney. Uh, if if you try to fight Barney, Barney would hit you a slap in the chin and knock you out. You are a disgrace. We call you chicken Arthur no balls. You are no balls with your chucky head. You should go and get the man with the gun what you have and go and shoot the man what he done to you, Arthur, the Quillikins. We left you in teeth tins of care with no face, no ears, no balls, no nothing. They cut the balls on the East Road in the hotel on the left hand side. They cut the balls out of you. They cut your face up. They left you a right off. They left you handicapped. Uncle Joe took a stroke over this fight, over Woolly's fight with you, Arthur. Which we call him Big Mary. Big Mary, <laughs> no balls. And, they, and now it goes back to your brother Woolly. Fat boy. Woolly. You should go and fucking rear your own fucking children once you couldn't rear them. You had to go and let them get. I won't say what happened to them. You should go and fucking rear them. What you fucking done to them? You and Lisa. Your sister Anne, Amanda, is what with the guarantees what to do to your children. And the, oh, whole fucking world knows man. the whole world knows what to do. We came back to the funeral. What happened to your children? The guarantees is out there. There was, there, was, there was a lighter set to the fire to the trailer. Yeah, for ye know that. So there's, a God, there's a God looking down, Woolly. You should went and raise your fucking children, you dirty rubbishy, in Ireland. This goes to the more choices as well. Cup to England! Cup to me! Be in Scotland, Harry Joe! Be, be in, in Scotland! Scotland for me! And listen to me, and I promise you, we'll send you back in work cars home when, you, when, when we take the title. I'll pay for we, all your tickets! We own the all titles! Tickets I'll pay for you! We own the titles! We're the kings! We're the kings! Get to Scotland! Don't go to Hamid Hansen trying to claim a victory! That's not gonna work in this country! Before you claim a victory, you have to fight me, Joe! Fight me for you claim a victory! You be in Scotland with Stephen McPhee, James McPhee, to fight me! Get lost! Don't get and bring ball. and bring two hundred men, would you? If you think that, bring your army. Bring, your army. Your bring army. all what you got in England, would you? All, all Ireland. You bring London, would you? If you want it, we we'll have ours. We have our army. Bring it. Bring it on, Harry Joe. Bring I knock. I knocked you out. Bring it on. I knocked you out and double left and right. The Dons and the Corkins and the, they're all there to be proved. I swear to my children, I killed you dead. Same is turning your brain bring and. Bring your army! Bring Davy one lung as well, would ye? Bring them all, would ye? We'll be here! We'll be sitting in England waiting for ye! In Scotland, on Sunday coming, we'll be there! Bring your army, bring yourself! And if you don't want the army, me and Stephen and the boys will stick into the yard with you and we'll take it on the road with you! If you don't want and that! And we'll give you a good kick on back to Dublin and the board, we'll pay for your fear! You're going back a loser again! Joe's Arthur, bring yourself over, Stephen McPhee! The, there's the Steve McFees or James wants to fight you. Get yourself over. They, they'll fight you on the same down fighting. Right, our little shoey, as we, which well, you're not my brother Michael, but listen for a minute as you're praising that you said I talked about Patrick McGinley's little girl. That never happened. My cousin Patrick knows that. Don't be trying getting Patrick's good books because Pat Patrick won't allow you into the north of Ireland. You and Anne and, and Patrick's supposed to bring Joe's Michael on a phone. You got to ask Joe's Michael to bring the phone to the police station for to get Patrick put back in a man in McGarvery. Did you not do that, Michael? Big Winnie went up and you got your own fatty and McGinley. When the wooden says fatty and I don't know who, who Patrick is. Patrick won't listen to me. I ain't getting Anne to cut Patrick. I ain't putting Patrick back in. Is that right, Shuey? No. More than you get me charged for rape, Michael. Oh. Michael, I, you're nobody, you have nothing. people out there as well, I don't talk to Tillis Patrick. Yes, we had a fallout over what happened to his uncle him. All my own people look at me in the world. I not talk to Tillis Patrick, what do you think, they, what we are talking? We're not talking to Tillis Patrick. Me or me brother's not talking to Tillis Patrick. Good luck and goodbye. Happy New Year to be one of you. And you, Shuey. Take care. Brothers and all the Bring it on. Hey! Annie 